Hi all, welcome to our YouTube channel and we are back again with the most important questions for Prelim 2020 and the word of the day is happiness. So let's begin with the first question. Consider the following statement. First, Gram Nyayale are mobile courts which seek to provide speedy and inexpensive justice. Second, Nyayadikari will be appointed by state government in consultation with governor. Third, Gram Nyayale are established under the Gram Nyayale Act. Fourth, Gram Nyayale will exercise the power of civil court only. Choose the correct court for answer A1 and 2 only, B3 and 4 only, C1 and 3 only, D2 and 3 only. So guys, the correct answer here is C1 and 3 only. Now the reason being is that Nyayadikari will be appointed by state government in consultation with the high court. So please note that, alright? And therefore, your statement 2 becomes incorrect here. Now, one thing, please note here, the Nyaya Adhikari will act as a presiding officer with, who has power similar to a first class magistrate working under a high court. Okay? Now, the fourth statement is incorrect because Gram Nyayale will exercise the power of both civil and criminal court, okay? which is uh, subject to the schedules of the Gram Nyayale Act of 2008. Please note that. Also, si cheez hai pe, any appeal in case of criminal matters uh, from any judgment or sentence or an order of Gram Nyayale um, will lie to the session court. Hai? And in case of civil matters, it will lie in the district court. Hai? So, moving on to the next question. National G Digital Health Blueprint Report is published by A. Niti Ayo, B. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, C. Ministry of Human Resource Development, D. Ministry of Home Affairs. So, the correct answer here is D. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Okay? Now, this uh, uh, National Digital uh, Blueprint Report will basically provide a very common platform for integrating uh, existing applications in health domain and uh, the data which is related to it which uh, to, into a very uh, integrated uh, uh, platform because earlier it was uh, uh, in uh, silos all right so please note that and a very important recommendation of this report is setting up national digital health mission okay now this will be purely a government uh, organization and uh, it will have complete functional autonomy which is uh, similar to the uidia all right and the objectives of the National Digital Health Mission will be aligned with our vision policy, uh, which is the National uh, Health Policy of 2017, and also with the Sustainable Development Goals, which are related to the health sector. All right. So please note that. Now moving on to the next question, which of the following statement you are correct? First, Ministry of Finance launched a mobile application called Mobile Aided Note Identifier to help visually impaired people. Second, this application gives audio output in all regional languages as mentioned in the 8th schedule of the Indian constitution. Third, mobile aided note identifier will help impaired people to identify the denomination of currency notes. Choose the correct code. A, all of the above. B, none. C, 1 and 2 only. D, 3 only. Now guys, the correct answer here is... You can pause your video and mention your answers in the comment section below. Alright? So... correct answer here is d3 only all right now the reason the first and the second statement are incorrect is because this particular application is launched by the reserve bank of india all right and the second statement is incorrect because the audio output is available in hindi and english only all right so please note that moving on to the next question Consider the following statement. First, National Statistical Office is under the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation through the merger of National Sample Survey and Central Statistic Office. Second, National Sample Survey and Central Statistic Office were originally envisaged by the Rangarajan Committee. Which of the following statement you are correct? A. Both. B. None. C. One only. D. Two only. So, no, so now guys, the correct answer here is... A, both. Both the statement here are correct. Alright. Moving on to the next question. In which of the following country the island of Komodo is located? A, Vietnam. B, Thailand. C, Indonesia. D, Cambodia. So, the correct answer here is C, Indonesia. Alright. Now, little information on this particular island. Now, this island 
is a habitat for the Komodo dragon. All right. Now they are basically the largest lizard, or also called as the monitor lizard, on Earth. Okay. And the these lizard are basically named after the island. Now, very important thing is that the these particular Komodo dragon are classified as vulnerable species by the IUCN. All right. And the Komodo National Park was established in order to protect these species in 1980. All right, and uh, in the year 1991, it was de declared uh, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. All right, and a very important thing is that this particular national park, Komodo National Park, was selected as one of the new seven wonder of nature. All right. And uh, one very important thing is that this particular Komodo Island is a part of the Coral Triangle. Now, what exactly is this coral triangle? So basically, they include a uh, tropical marine waters of Indonesia, Malaysia, Papua New Guinea, Philippines, Solomon Island, and Timor Leste. Now, this is very important from your prelims perspective. Okay. Now, before I move further, in the previous videos, I asked you where the ten degree channel. As in, what landmass does it separate? So the answer to that question is: ten degree channel will separate your Andaman Island from the Nicobar Island groups. Okay. So moving on to the next question, consider the following: uh, important waterfalls and the location. So first we have Dudh Sagar, Mandovi River; second, Gelsopa, Shravati River; third, Shiva Samundram, Kaveri River; fourth, Dumadat, Narmada River. Now, which of the following are correctly matched? A all, B one two three only, C one and two only, D one only. So now, guys, the correct answer here is A all of the above. Okay. Now, uh, one minute thing needs to be noted. Gelsopa also has another name, which is called as Jock Falls. All right. So moving on to the next question. Uh, consider the following about tribunals in India. First, a tribunal is a quasi-judicial body established in India by an act of Parliament or state legislature. Second, they have to follow the procedure as laid down under the Civil Procedure Code and the Indian Evidence Act. Third, they are based on the recommendation of the Swaran Singh Committee. Which of the following statement you are correct? A, one only. B, two only. C, one and three only. D, two and three only. Now, guys, the correct answer here is C, one and three only. Now, the reason your second statement is incorrect is because they do not follow the procedure laid down by the Civil Procedure Code or by the Indian Evidence Act, and basically they just follow the principle of natural justice. Take care. So, moving on to the next question. Consider the following statement. First, the Indian Space Research Organisation unveil a human robot called Biomitra. Second. It will be sent to space as a part of the Gaganyaan mission. Choose the correct answer: A, one only; B, two only; C, both; D, none. So now, guys, the correct answer here is C, both. All right. Now, this particular uh, robot, Vayumitra, will actually be sent prior to your uh, Gaganyaan mission. Okay, on a unmanned journey for conducting tests and other research. Okay. Now, moving on to the next question. The Economist Intelligence Unit publishes which of the following? First, Democracy Index. Second, Safe Cities Index. Third, Global Livability Index. Select the correct code: A all, B none, C one and three only, D one and two only. So now the correct answer here is A all of the above. All right. Now the last question of the day: Bharat Bill Payment System is developed by first Reserve Bank of India, second State Bank of India, third by the National Payment Corporation of India. Fourth, none of the above. So the correct answer here is National Payment Corporation of India. Now this will be a one-stop payment platform for all the uh, bill, and it will provide accessibility anytime, anywhere to the customers across the country. With uh, and most importantly, there will be an element of certainty, uh, safety, and reliability. All right, of your transactions. So that's it for the day. And for more information on our various courses, please visit our website www.ashas.com. And for more such videos, like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.